Hello, and welcome to Cry Havoc Wargaming, dedicated to bringing you the uncommon. For those who haven't met me, my name is Ron, and today we're going to do an after-action report of This Corps War, a Rifler's Handbook from Zombie Smith Games. So let's get started. Recently, I did the pre-order special from War Games Atlantic of the new two-player set for Quar. It comes with a handful, what is it, 12 uh, figures for each side. You only need 10, so there's a couple of extra ones. Uh, it comes with the rules, a uh, QRS after a fashion. A lot of what you need to get you started in this Quar's War, the uh, Rifler's pocketbook skirmish version of the game. So what I'm going to do right now is give you an example and uh, bring you to the gaming table. All right, so this is the table for the game. We're doing the meeting scenario. Where two patrols meet in the field of battle, both seek a victory that only one will achieve. We are already deployed. The commanders decide which of them deploy riflers first, actually deploy both of them. Each commander may deploy his riflers up to eight inches in, uh, from his side of the battlefield. They are. We both begin with five pluck, we have. Last rifler standing is the primary objective. The commander with the most riflers left by point value at the end of the battle gains five objective points. A secondary objective. Each commander must attempt to keep his opponent from gaining ground on the field. For every rifler of his past the middle of the table at the end of the battle, the commander will gain two objective points. The skirmish, it says, is to be fought with patrols of any size. A great starting point for new commanders is three po 300 points, while an experienced commander may prefer the challenge of a patrol of 400 to 500 points. We are actually playing with, with about two 40, I think it is, 230, that we are just using what comes in the starter box. Okay, the game is activated by cards. This is the back of the card, but each card has a little plant on it with a different number of leaves, and that's how many activations. Turn is when you go through the whole deck of the cards. Before you begin a new turn, one card is put aside just to change the number of cards that are available. And then the non-active player pulls a card, and there's going to be between three and I think it is five. They all have at least three, so I know I'm going to have three activations. I don't know how many I have beyond that. Basic activations, actions that you can assign, are move, sprint, jumping, disengage. The combat actions, a ranged attack, aim shot, supporting fire, overwatch, opportunity, area fire, throw grenade, charge, leadership actions or group movement, regroup, uh, recovery actions or steady, recover, tend, wounded. I am a Koftrian. The Koftrians are the royalists, they are the uh, conservatives fighting against the crusaders who are they're changing the core world. So the first thing I have to do is decide who I'm going to activate. Uh, our goal is to take ground and to move forward. Leaders uh, ship actions allow you to move a groupment for the cost of moving a single. Uh, group movement, it costs two actions. A ready rifler with his leader ability, uh, we both have two people with leader abilities, uh, may spend two actions to allow himself and a number of friendly riflers to make a normal move or sprint move. Uh, this counts as one activation for both the leader and the friendly rifler is moved. If the commander does not have two actions available, the movement is canceled. Now on a card, you can only use two actions for each figure. That's the most you can give them. Uh, so, no, it says it counts as one, so it takes two, but it counts as one activation, so they could actually do something else if there's enough activations on the card. I'm going to order my Milwar here. I'm going to use two actions, and then he's going to do a group order of his team to uh, move, which is, they have a five-inch move. They get to double this, though. So five inches would be there. Let's go over terrain real quick. Uh, all of this terrain, the little forests and the holes, are going to count as difficult terrain. In difficult terrain, your movement is half, and that's if any of your move is into difficult terrain, your whole movement is half. The trees, the forested areas, will also block or affect line of sight. So he can't move 10 because he's going to be in terrain. Uh, instead, he's going to move... Oh... Uh, well, he can't get in the train, then, basically, based on what I just said. Because it's more than the half movement to get to the train. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, it's less than five, so he, he does, actually doesn't have the points to do that divided thing. 
But he's in, he's in cover, which was my, well, he's not exactly in cover. He's in, well, no, the, this is giving cover, so he, uh, and these are giving cover to some degree. We'll have to deal with that if you shoot. I am kind of a little exposed. So, that was two actions. I know I have at least a third. I'm assuming when it says it counts as one activation that I can still give them another activation. The problem is I only know I have one. The way this works is it's not until I'm using four. Uh, when I use four, I would say, do I have a fourth? That makes it a challenge to use a two, order a two action thing now. Because if I order a two action thing now and I don't have the actions to do it, then I don't do the action at all. I don't want to move just one of them. I'm going to count the rocks that are in the trees as rocks. So the cover behind those rocks, like where your three guys over here, is better than just being in the woods. And move at least one more guy. So, so I'm going to move him up to the edge of the tree line. Do I have a fourth? You do not. All right. <clears throat> so that's me done. So now I pull one. And, and you decide what you want to do. I am actually going to do the same thing that you just did with my milwar, only I'm going to head towards here. If I'm doing the double move, the sprint, but halved, because of the, it looks like five just gets me. So I'm coming out of the difficult terrain, but I'm going here behind this rock. So am I to understand then that the woods themselves are like the equivalent of a light cover and the behind the rocks kind is of, the full kind of, cover? Yeah, the cover works okay. a little different. We'll deal with that when okay. if shooting happens. For example, this gentleman who has the, the longer Rishi gun, He's going to be too far, most likely. He's 24. So he's in third band. This is a combat action. A ready rifler shoots an enemy rifler within his line of sight and is not engaged with a rifler friendly to the shooter. The target is not gobsmacked. I'm not. The target's commander immediately declares whether the target will be diving for cover or taking some other action in response to the shot. Yeah, I think I may do a, a reaction fire. A snapshot. I wouldn't normally do that, but I think you're going to have a bad chance of hitting. So I'm doing a reaction shot. My choices would have been a reaction shot, a normal move, or a special action necessary for the scenario, such as triggering charges, starting fire, or grabbing uh, an item. Uh, the action is chosen before the action is resolved. That's because it's going to affect your, your attack. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I'm going to do is fire back. You make a skill check with the following modifier. So what's your skill check? Your skill. And he's firing a Rishi. Skill is 12. So you have a negative one mm -hmm. because I have chosen an action other than diving for cover. So that's 11, right? Uh, for each full range band between the shooter mm -hmm. and the target. So what was the range? A 24, so it's three. So now it's negative four. We have, well, we're gonna have to decide what to call this cover. It's either going to be heavy brush, which counts as some cover, or it is light cover, which would be light brush. I'm going to call them light cover because okay. I said the rocks would be the heavier. Would be heavier, and the heaviest thing here is supposed to be purposeful made fortifications, mm -hmm. and so nothing here is that strong. Okay. So we'll call like your guys behind the rocks mm -hmm. or people who are in here. Uh, we'll call those some cover, which is a negative two, and we'll call within the trees. We'll consider that light brush. Negative so that's a negative one. one. So, so I'm down minus five. Right. Well, I forgot this was the Rishi. Maybe I shouldn't have fired back. That's your longer range gun. Oh, well, too late now. If it was your bogan, I'd be making the right choice, but I may not be, I may get myself shot because I didn't die for cover. Three six-sided are rolled and compared to the target number equal to a skill plus or minus. Okay, so we minus the, the number we gave is minus from your skill roll. So I'm trying to get a seven, right? Or, or below. Yeah. No. Nope. What did you get? Ooh. Uh, 11. 11. All right, so the attack fails a skill check, but rolls less than 13. You rolled 11, right? Mm -hmm. I did not die for cover, though. Mm -hmm. I got a reaction shot now, though, because you didn't do anything. So reaction shots, that means it's now me firing. Mm -hmm. We can save time later when we start getting a better feel for what's going to hit or not. You start to get an idea where, like, I don't even need to do the math because there's no way that hit. I am a Croftian. I am firing... That's uh, that's actually my, my Milwar. He's firing, he has a 12. He is firing a Harlick. A Harlick has a range of eight. 
It would be three bands. All right, so I have a 12. You don't have an option. You, you don't get a chance to respond, which means no modifier. But I'm a negative three for the range. Mm -hmm. And a negative nine. one for the brush. That makes it eight. And then the Harlech has a snapshot of negative three, which makes it six, right? That's no way that's hitting. It's so that is 15. Uh, it would have been bad if it was 17 or 18. That was three actions, right? Do I have another you action? Do. So could he shoot a second time? I he could because he's, to... he's only activated once, right? He wasn't part mm -hmm. of that move, so yes, he could. Two bands, one each, so, so it's two bands, uh, unless you dive. Should I fire back or should I jump? I'm gonna die for cover. Well, here are three dice and we'll, we'll figure out So I'm what, looking what for a seven is. or below. More than that now, I'm diving for cover. Oh. That's going to add three. Ah, oh, well, I'm high. I'm 13. If the attacker rolls 13 or more and the target chooses to dive for cover, which is what I'm, do oh, I'm doing, mm -hmm. uh, the commander will move the rifler to cover. The target's commander. Oh, that's me. If there is cover from the attacker within the target rifler's MA, the command... Okay, it has to be within your movement allowance. Uh, the commander moving the rifler moves the rifler to cover of their choice and marks the rifler as prone, if necessary, to take advantage of the cover. If there is no cover within the rifler's MA, the moving commander moves the rifler up to one. It, what if he's already in it? If the move passes through difficult, they must make a skill roll. I'm not sure what happens when I'm already in cover. Do I have to go prone? Do I have to... I'm gonna... Yeah, let's say that. I'm gonna go prone, which would improve my cover. Mm -hmm. In fact, of course. Te technically, I think it would take me out of line of sight. Do I have five? You do not. Okay. All right, so now you pull a card. So I'm going to use one action to stand. And then I'm going to give a command, uh, a command to the unit. This will be difficult terrain. So they're going to move into the trees. And that's three. Do I have four? Uh, you do. I'm gonna move another harlock forward. And do I have five? You do. Oh, do I? But it would have been nice to move everybody up. All right. I'm gonna use a group order, and I'm gonna just come to the other side of the woods. I'm gonna to have to do this in two, two steps, I fear. That's my front. Silly guys. Do I have, oh no, wait, I can't use those again, can I? Because they did two actions. No, that only counts as one activation. It takes two actions on the card to do it, but it only counts as one activation. But I couldn't do two actions for one of them. I, I wish to aim and fire. Oh, you can do it. Yeah. I have four. Yeah. I'm shooting at him in the front. All right. That is one full band and one partial. It's like one and a half band, so one. And I have a better range than you, but it's probably not enough to matter. What was the, the inches? I think we have the same range, eight. Oh, yours is eight? Yeah, I'm using a reshoot. Your long one's the same as mine, all right? Yes. Then I'm gonna die for cover. So, do you wanna just roll the dice and then we'll see if you made it or not? I mean, if it's a high roll, you would have made it anyway. Nope. It looks high. I, it looks I can't, high. I can't, I can't see one of the dice. It's 13. So it's gonna be the same thing yeah. as before. I get to move the mm -hmm. guy, because I didn't die for cover. Mm -hmm. It was him, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna move him. Oh, he probably can't move that far because of the difficult ground. Oh, I have to roll a skill check because I'm in difficult ground. Uh, maybe I should just go prone. Yeah, I'm just going to go prone. So otherwise, I could end up being gobsmacked. Do I have five? No, just pull the card. Wait, how many did I gain by aiming? Aim shot. A uh, ranged weapon may spend two actions before a range attack without incurring penalties from the... Oh, you don't get the penalties for the distance. So what was it? Two or three? You still rolled One. 15. It was only one for the distance. A rifler with an automatic weapon may attack several figures in a group. All figures must be within a four-inch diameter circle. 
The skill roll is negative one per figure in the target group. A light cover does not apply, but if mm -hmm. any figure has better cover, assume all figures have the best cover. Target will decide to dive for cover, return fire, or move independently, and then a roll is made for each figure with the appropriate modifier for their response. That didn't answer my question. I'm, I'm guessing I still get the automatic fire bonus, but I'm also getting a negative. And that's what I'm doing. I'm firing my Criffin at the three guys behind that rock. So you have to decide how you're going to react. I'm going to shoot back. All right. I have to roll for each of your guys. It is an eight inch range, so that was two. Two. Uh, my skill, my Criffin skill is, oh, uh, my guys are all 12s. 12. You took an action other than diving for cover, mm -hmm. so that's 11. It's then gonna to go to nine because of the range. We called that some cover. That's gonna be seven. Right. I am an, auto oh no, fully automatic weapon firing at a single target. I don't get that plus two. Right. So I'm at sixes for each of your guys. So I'm gonna start from the guy on my left and just work the way over. Okay. okay so guy. The first guy is 12. So that's a miss. It's not a 13 or higher, so I don't think there's anything special, All right? So the next one, the guy in the middle with your long range thing, mm -hmm. uh, that's probably nothing. So 12. That's a 12, so yeah, that's a nothing. And the last one. This is really hard. Is it 11? That's also going to be nothing because we're rolling. Okay. And I'm using my high rolling dice, which was a mistake. All right, so now you get to do the shoot backs. I have two bands. So that's minus two. Did you shoot back with everybody? Well, I don't know. Am I allowed to? It said independently. Yeah. But you're not all going to be at two bands. Oh, you're right, because two of them are... So it's two bands. It's still two bands? It's two bands. Minus two cover. I think I should be an eight. This guy will be eight. This guy will be seven, because he is another inch further, which mm -hmm. makes another band. So first, the eight guy. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. I had a bonus, because this guy wasn't shooting. Oh, well. He, when he's acting as a loader, I have a bonus. No, yeah. 10. This guy's a seven. Mm -hmm. And that's a whole lot. Yeah. That's 17. That's not good. If the attacker rolls a 17 or more, mm -hmm. the attacker is gobsmacked. Okay. So we're going to put a little black thing on you. By this guy. Yeah. Gobsmacked. Nearby explosion, misfiring weapon, or clumsy dive for cover, mm -hmm. and the butt of an enemy's rifle top, the long list of things that can discomfort you. A uh, gobsmacked rifler receives a marker, retains until he spends an action to pull himself together to get rid of it. In the meantime, the only actions he can take are prone, moving half MA into cover, or recovering. And this guy, what did I say was the distance? Because he's, he's the one with the eight. Yeah. So he may not be... Well, I was at two, so he's going to be at two. Okay. All right, so he's an eight again then. Yeah. Okay, come on. Please, somebody do something. Because he was 12. 12. Nothing, I'm sure. And I guess I could stand him. I think he would need to stand because of this thing. Because right now I think he's out of line of sight. Except I agree. possibly to him. Which means I could shoot at him from the ground. I'm going to shoot the guy there. Because he's only in light cover. I'm going to do an aim shot. So that's two points. This will take me to three actions. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do an aim shot at this guy here. So mm -hmm. he has to decide how he's going to react. I think he's going to dive for cover. I'm just going to roll first. Right, so 11, that's a 12, so that's probably a miss, but it's not a miss by 13 or higher. If attacker fails a skill check, but rolls less than 13, and the target chose to dive for cover, the attacker will move the target into cover, hmm. and the target is gobsmacked. So I'm going to move him. Your moves are all five, right? Oh, it's only going to be two and a half, I think, though, if I'm understanding that roll right. I can't move him like here to expose it. I have mm -hmm. to move him into cover. But the thing to do, uh, unfortunately, I can't move you really far because of the rough ground rule. Mm -hmm. um, but you are gobsmacked. Okay. Do I have a fifth? No, that would have been third. Do I have a fourth? You do. I'm going to shoot at your Milwar. Mm -hmm. um, I may need to measure this one because the range may be a little long. Well, it is a little longer. I don't know if it's enough to matter. Uh, no, it's not because my, my third round would be at 16. What is he doing? I guess he's going to die for a cover, too. All right, I'm going to roll then. Whoa. Okay, that might hit. So I have a 12. You dive for cover, so that's going to drop me to 8. And minus 1 for the Where That's 7. Mm -hmm. You have light cover. That's 6. You got it. If the attack succeeds at the skill, if I rolled 4 or less, it would be better. But I didn't. 
If the attack succeeds at the skill check, which I have done, mm -hmm. you are out of action. He is prone. Okay. So we put him prone. What out of action means is you have been hit. But I may not be dead. But you can't do anything until somebody comes by and treats you. And the treating is when you determine if you were dead or not. I get a new plot oh, because I shot him. because I made you OOA. So this is the beginning of turn two. You take the card. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. You can't shoot back at me, that guy. So is it really worth wasting my time shooting at him? This guy is going to shoot at him, and he's going to aim. So he's going to get rid of the band. I'm going to dive for cover. Okay. Uh, so minus four and that's and five because of the cover. So seven. <laughs> Eight, I'm going to use a plug to get myself to seven. All right. So he is uh, successful. Out of action. All right. That was two actions then. On him because he aimed. aimed. Aim and shoot. Do I have a four? You do not. Okay. So nothing. I'm going to stand. To one. I'm going to do a uh, mm -hmm. check mm -hmm. for him. Mm -hmm. He's good. He's good. And I get another one of these. Oh, you should have got one of these for docking him down. For three, I'm going to stand him up. Do I have a four? You do. I'm going to order a command move. Do I have five? You do. I'm going to spend a pluck. It's going to be the action they're getting for their order. We're going to do a charge. Wow. Um, but I have to do a pluck to do it. How far can you charge? Rifler moves at least as full and up to double his movement allowance. Oh, it's only up to double. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can do it. I thought it was full and a double. If the most I can do is only double, I can't get to you. So I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm going to have to do something different. What do I do? Well, I could do a sprint. That's what we're going to do. So that's a sprint, but that still would have used the same amount of, except I get a pluck back because I can't use a pluck for that. That's me done. This guy with his trusty eight incher is, is two bands, but I'm going to aim. I'm going to move to cover. So that's eight and that's it. You're not in cover, I don't think. He doesn't seem not to be. For now. Not for me. No! So you were gobsmacked, okay. which we're using the black ones for. So he can move a whole five inches to cover. All right. I can't move in there, because he has to be in cover from them. Right. Uh, so I'm going to move him to there. Okay. Two bands. That's minus six. This one, you need to roll a pluck. Got a pluck. Uh, and then he's down. Do I have... A four. Four. Yes. These guys are in heavy cover, right? For these guys. The medium cover, not heavy. We had nothing on this right. table is heavy. They throw a grenade. They could. He is going to throw a grenade. What kind? Uh, fragmentation. Okay, grenades take two. So I may not have enough. So you're still going to do it? Yeah. Do I have five? You do. Okay. These work a little differently than everything else. So you indicate the location or target rifler. Has to be within two inches. I mean, uh, 10 inches. Okay. <laughs> Him. You're going to roll 2d6, and you're looking for sixes, and you're not wanting ones. Hi, hi. Sixes. Boxcars. No. All okay. Right. Uh, so that's nothing. If it affects more than one target, it's based on success of your roll. All right, so you pull a card. I, I pulled. I'm going to try to rescue this guy. Four. The rifler is alive and bandaged, but cannot move on his own. He can be carried out by comrades. So the, the difference is that he can't walk where the mm -hmm. other one can. not But so I'm just going to leave him there. I'm going to leave that on him. All right, so that was one action. I'm now going to do two actions 
to do the group move thing and okay. spend the plot. Yeah. I might not be able to do this because you have to be over five inches. Jeez, can I like walk backwards? Okay. I'm gonna go the long way. <laughs> okay, that works. No, I'm gonna go the short way. I'm gonna use a pluck for a free one inch movement. Okay. And now now I'm over five. Charge, one action, one pluck. The one action is under that two mm -hmm. group leader thing. Mm -hmm. A ready rifler may spend one point of pluck. I did that, at least move at least full and up to double. We haven't talked a lot about this. One of the actions you can always do, mm -hmm. there's something called opportunity fire. If you had an overwatch, which you do not, right. but if you had assigned somebody overwatch on an activation, they would just go now like normal. But you have a chance to do an opportunity fire, which is you guys firing as I'm coming in. I will do that. All right, it does take a pluck, but we both have lots of pluck and mm -hmm. we don't use them enough. A ready rifler may spend one pluck to make a ranged attack against an enemy rifler who takes a non-combat action in his line of sight within three range bands. This is going to be a combat action, but right now it's a movement. A rifler fired upon may choose to reply with a reaction shot, so I can shoot back, or I can dive for cover, or I can continue my act, their action after the shot is resolved. Right. In any case, the skill check subtracts the snapshot, that's what I was thinking, for the penalty weapon in addition to other modifiers. So I'm not really sure where we are when we do this, but I don't know if it matters. Minus two on the bogan, minus three on the rishi. Oh, that's not so bad. I thought they'd okay. be worse than that. You have to decide who's firing at who. This guy is going to shoot at him. All right. So he's going to dodge for cover, I think. Is that what they do? I think a dodge for cover. Okay. So it's a total of We're good. minus six. It's five. Right. Twelve, right? So, yeah. so he is down, and you get a pluck for that. And then the other one? The other one, he's going to shoot towards your leader. Yeah, I'm uh, going to dodge for cover. Okay, so minus four. And minus three. So I have to get, uh, that's seven down, I have to get five or less, so. All right, nope. so I have, to, I have to go for cover, less than 13. I'm going to be moved and gobsmacked. So you, mm. you can move me up to five inches. You have to cover. be in cover from everybody, though. You can't expose me to somebody. Yeah. Well, it has so to I'm be probably here, Probably just going to there. Yeah, it has <laughs> to be here. Okay, it's melee time. Rifler declares an attack against an engaged, performing a skill check to see if the attack succeeds. Attacker skills modified by their bonus with the weapon, if any, certain conditions. Those conditions aren't met. Regardless of the number needed to hit, so I'm at, I'm at 12s. Skill check is 3. Uh, 6, 11, 12, that's 13, so that's a mess. But you use a pluck to get a success. That's true. So I hit. So, if the skill roll is successful, the attacker rolls their might, and the result is compared to the target's toughness. My might, with a normal Crofton, is 2d6 minus 1. This is going to be risky, because you're supposed to be better at this than me. It's a 7. Might is, what's your toughness? Is 4, you said? 4. And I rolled a 7. So the might roll is greater than the toughness, the target is gobsmacked. Where, if I doubled you, then you'd be dead. out of action. Okay. So that's what I okay. really want. So I have to roll the hit, this one. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is a hit. Then it's 2d6 minus one. Ooh. That, that is a ten. He is out of action. So that's a me done. That was a pretty successful turn. Okay. Oh, I get a pluck back. I guess I fight back. Oh, well, you have to pull card first. All okay. Right. So you want to fight back? Yeah. Okay, so um, step one, I'm not ungobsmacked. All right. For this guy, he he's got to get rid of his gobsmack first before he does anything. Is he gobsmacked? Okay, sorry. All right, so that's one turn. Mm -hmm. He is also going to aim. No, that'd be three things that for the same things. guy. Yeah. So he's just going to shoot. You can do that, though. You know you have three. You always have three. I know, but I thought one guy couldn't do three things. Each individual uh -oh. can only do two things. Aiming is not two things. Aiming okay. is one thing that costs two activation. He's going to aim then, and he's going to go for him. Him. I'm going to go for cover. Low, low. 12. You didn't miss by 13, which means... And you die. You get to move my guy five inches into cover. And I will be gobsmacked. He has to be in cover. I know. I'm putting him back here with the other guy. So that's three. Do I have four? Uh, you do have four. This is going to be... Yeah, he's going to shoot, but this is going to be far. So that's 14. He's so he's two bands out. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he's minus two. I'm gonna dodge for cover. 
And he's how he gets. Yeah, and this time I get to move in. Okay. Which is good. Because over 13. I'm going to move in into here. Okay. Do I have five? You do not. All right. So now I'm waiting. As of right now, I have the primary and secondary. In fact, you almost drove me back off the secondary just now. Well, I'm going to use an action to take the gobsmack off my boss. I'm going to take an action to take the gobsmack off him. I'm going to take a move. That's three. Do I have a four? You do. I'm going to roll to recover the wounded guy there. Mm -hmm. Four. Uh, he is recovered. He's non-ambulatory. Do I have a five? You do not. He is going to, it's just about five to come out of the woods with his unit behind here. So, so he was the furthest back. Yeah, he was the furthest back. They they won't have a problem with it. That's the boss boy. It is boss boy. But it's time to get serious. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing a reactionary shot. Okay. For me coming out? Yep. I didn't know you could. You sure okay. can. We just talked about that. Okay. One, uh, opportunity fire. Fine. Yeah, it costs a pluck. I'm going to shoot at your guy, your blue guy there who's in the open. Oh, from him. I thought from these. I was going, I don't think he's in the open. Uh, that is only one range band. What is my snap fire, though? A harlock, oh. negative three. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Let's roll. See what I get. Ooh, that might be something. You might make it. Oh, uh, what are you doing? We should, we should have rolled that before I rolled. What is uh, your reaction? Oh, uh, now I'm going to say I'm going to dive for cover, but... All right, so I'm at 12. I didn't realize that was enough. I'm at one band. That would make it 11. Four would seven. make it seven, so and he, he has is no cover. out of action. Oh. oh no. Oh no. No. Yeah, I mean, I might as well use Pluck. I got it, right? Yeah. Oh, I just got that one back, too, because I took you out of yeah. action. Two bands? Uh, I'm going to, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Do I return fire? No, I'm going to dive for cover. Okay. It's, no, not even worth counting. Mm. Thirteen. Uh, that means I get to decide where I'm going in the cover. Okay. I'm going to put myself behind the stone. A wise move. Do I have four? You do. And the commander can shoot, I assume. Yeah. He's got a bogan, doesn't he? He does. No, it may not be 12 anymore. It's not. It's only one band. Uh, what's he going to do? Uh, I guess I'll dive for cover. Do I do that or do I shoot back? I'm going to dive for cover. I'm just, I don't want to risk him. Okay. Should have, I should have shot back. Uh, okay. You get to move him, though. Oh, okay. Uh, two inches? Uh, two and a half. Okay, say about Just because he's in the heavy stuff. Say about there. Do I have five? You do not. So you see how it goes faster? It does. I mean, part of that's because you start getting used to how the rolls right. work, like anything. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use... Uh, Two activations to do a group move, and we're gonna. Do I need to sprint? If I sprint, I'm only going five anyway. I do need to. I'm gonna sprint five. So I'm gonna sprint. That takes two of my activations. I'm going to shoot with this guy for a third activation at the guys we've been shooting at. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shoot the one that's the open, even though he's a little further back. This guy? Yeah. In the blue? He's not far enough back to put me in two anyway. I'm going to shoot at him because the other guy's got cover. Uh, so I'm going to roll. Four, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is probably not going to hit, but I feel like... Oh, we didn't ask him to see what you were going to do. Um, um, okay, I'll, I'll shoot back. All right, so shooting back will... Give me a negative one, that makes it 11. Range band makes it 10, and that's it. So he's down. Okay. Do I have a four? No. I've got to try to administer some first aid here. So we'll start with him. Two. All right. So he is back. Because you rolled a one or a two, though, you get a pluck. Get the rifle has his bell rung. Shakes simple, yeah. returns the fight, starts brown, yeah. That makes two then. Now, he having shaken himself off, moves over to there and does it for the other guy. 
three. He's, okay. he's ambulatory, but he cannot combat it Okay. Anymore. And that's all you had. Oh, okay. So that was uh, This Corps War, uh, Rifler's Handbook, the new edition of the Rifler's Handbook from the uh, War Games Atlantic Zombie Smith combined set. Uh, this is a fun little game. Uh, I really enjoy it. The figures are really, uh, well, the grimsicle, as they call them. It's an interesting little thing. I don't know how long it would keep my attention, but it's something to do on the sideline. It's definitely enjoyable. A bunch of other figures are available for it. Right now, a lot of them aren't included in the rules. Uh, the author is quick to point out that the old version of the Rifler's Handbook is available on his page for free, and it's not that hard to convert the rules over. I've also noticed that the rules are coming. They've already done the uh, the trench raider troops uh, upgrade, so that's that's coming. So fun little game. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you've played the core itself or have your own thoughts about it, go ahead and add those in the comment section down below. Also, if you have any ideas for further content you'd like to see us produce here on Cry Havoc War Gaming, we look in the comment section for those as well. If you've enjoyed the video, I hope you'll hit like, and if you'd like to receive further notification for videos like this one that may help you determine how to better spend your time or your money and your tabletop wargaming hobby, then I hope you'll hit subscribe and ring our notification bell. Till next time, cheers.